Since July of last year, there have been numerous rumors circulating about the upcoming Nikon Z6 III. These rumors have covered various aspects, such as its release date, specifications, and of course, its price. Initially, it was almost confirmed that the Nikon Z6 III might be announced in late October or early November 2023. So are we going to see it in just a few months? Let's recap all the rumored specifications and try to find a potential release date. When we take a look at the rumored specs, it appears that Nikon is planning to create a camera that is somewhat similar to the Nikon Z8. It's intended to replace the current and highly successful Nikon Z6 III. Nikon's decision to develop a new Z6 version is driven by the fact that they lack a strong competitor for the Canon's R6 II and Sony's A7 IV in their product lineup. First, let's talk about the sensor. The Z6 III is expected to feature a new one with rumors suggesting it will be a 33 megapixel sensor. This implies that Nikon is undertaking the development of a brand new sensor to compete with the Sony a7 IV, which also boasts the same resolution. Z6 III will be powered by the Xspeed 7 image processor, ensuring fast and efficient image processing. Are you struggling to explain your idea? Your audience is not getting what you're trying to say. An animated explainer video is a perfect solution for you. Explainer video simplifies any complex ideas through engaging animations, transitions, voiceovers, and meaningful scripts, which all together create a fun experience for any viewer. And here comes Ten Studio, a team of skilled professionals dedicated to creating engaging explainer videos. With over thousands completed projects, we have the expertise to create explainer videos that break down your message and connect with your audience. Get in touch with Ten Studio today. Now combining the sensor and processor, this camera will be able to provide 4K video recording at 60 frames per second without cropping. For those seeking to capture high quality slow motion footage, you can also opt to shoot in full HD at 120 FPS. This will allow you to slow down the video by up to five times. It's worth noting that Nikon might even consider offering a maximum frame rate of 180 FPS, a feature we've observed in the recently launched Canon EOS R8, which is the direct competitor of Nikon Z63. Another version of the rumor suggests that the Nikon Z63 might offer the option of shooting in 8K at 30 frames per second. If Nikon indeed incorporates 8K capability alongside the already mentioned specifications, it could give them a significant advantage over some other camera manufacturers. It will also include N-Log support and feature 10-bit internal recording, offering a broader dynamic range and increased flexibility during post-processing. Additionally, it's likely to support HDR, HLG, and ProRes RAW formats, expanding its capabilities for capturing high-quality video content. Furthermore, there are speculations that the Z6 III will inherit the AI-based subject detection system from the Nikon Z9, which would improve subject tracking and autofocus performance significantly. The camera is expected to include real-time tracking and eye autofocus, ensuring precise and dependable focus on moving subjects and capturing sharp details in portrait photography. Nikon's journey hasn't been smooth since the 2010s. They tend to innovate less and try to use the same old technology over a long period of time. After 2010, the camera industry was changing radically. Mirrorless cameras became a consumer favorite due to their compact size yet powerful performance, and DSLR's popularity was on the decline. Sony gained substantial growth in this period. Canon also held its supremacy by constantly evolving, whereas Nikon held on to their DSLRs. In late 2018, they finally entered the mirrorless market with their Z lineup, but are all past now. Nikon Z8 is 2023's one of the best, and ZF also took the world by storm. So the future for Nikon Z63 is looking very bright. Nikon Z6 Mark III competes with the Canon EOS R6 II and the Sony A7 IV, so its price is expected to fall in the range of $2,000 to $3,000. It's unlikely to be priced lower because Nikon already offers the Z5 at a lower tier, and a higher price point would place it in the territory of the Nikon Z7 II. 
Moreover, considering that the recently released Nikon ZF's priced at $1,999, we can reasonably assume that the Z6 Mark III will not be priced any lower. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. Consider subscribing for more content like this, and as always, thanks for watching.